reality, this is uh, this is part three, man. I had a couple other thoughts. When you're on a plane, you're up in the air, you're coming into a long flight. Long flights are always the key on funnies. They really are. Don't you just love that flight attendant? I don't care if he's gay, straight, or if she's gay, straight. It doesn't matter. I love the ones that make some humor out of the everyday routine that they go through. <laughs> Probably every 14 hours, every 4 hours. Whatever flight they were on, man. I just love the... You know, you take the belt buckle, put it around your neck. Oh, just kidding, it's around your waist. Those are funny, man. <laughs> I like, uh, I'm a comedy guy. As you can tell, I love comedy. I really do. <clears throat> then you got your practical joking or your smart aleck pilots that are they're flying along and they said, um, yeah, if, okay, let's say you're going to Europe or you're just coming into Europe. And on our right, on the right wing, uh, I'm willing to tilt the plane so you could see. But if you could see, you could see the Parthenon right over there. And you're like, where, where? Just kidding. We're so high up, there's no way you can see anything. <laughs> not even not even the Great Wall. And you're like, oh, son of a bitch, man, I wanted to see it. I want to see the Parthenon, man. I know I'm going, I know I'm, I know I'm not going to Europe. But, uh, <laughs> I had, there was one pilot, he goes, um, uh, I think he made a joke, like, uh, yeah, we're under a severe escort, um, um, rather to just keep your seats and your seat belts on, you never know if we're going to have to do a tuck and roll. That guy was funny. That guy was funny, because everybody was looking out the window looking for some planes escorting us. I was like. He goes, just kidding. We're being actually accompanied by some high winds. We're going to get up into the stream and slip on through, and we'll probably save us about two to three hours on this flight. So your your 18-hour flight is now 15. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, man. I love them drag racing pilots, man. Yeah, man. Send that pilot a drink. I mean, never mind, never mind. Send him a coffee. Send him a coffee. No, no, don't send him a coffee. And then, you know, you're an avid traveler and you know about the water. We already talked about the water, right? There's that guy next to you. Or maybe a couple seats down. Or maybe across the aisle. This is a rude motherfucker. Nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. And everybody's going... Well, why are you kissing his ass? I go, what? I just, I told a, I told a story. This guy needs a coffee with some airplane water. Or, you know, the guy goes, oh, I don't drink coffee. I go, well, let me buy you a beer or, or a wine or a mixed drink with some ice cold, some ice in it. And so it's nice and cold for you. Because we don't want you to be uncomfortable. I mean, I know the stewardess ain't, uh, the, uh, the stewardess ain't telling you this, or the flight attendant ain't telling you this, but we, we want you comfortable. You know what I'm doing? I'm setting him up, man. He's going to have a great weekend on me because he's he's digesting some of that bacterial plain water. Oh, man. I, it's, it's hard to be a genius, really. It is. It's hard to be smart. <laughs> And I had a guy next to me goes, man, why are you kissing this guy's ass, man? He's a, such a rude prick. I go, no, 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 you, you can't, you can't digest the water on the plane. The guy has some coffee in front of him. He goes, a oh, stewardess, can I get, uh, just get a soda? And uh, cause I told him, I go, yeah, they don't really clean this. You know, when they fill it up, they, they fill up the water right next to where they're dumping all the, all the sewage, you know? And he goes, you're kidding me. Really? I go. I'm not shitting you, man. Would I shit you? No. But, uh, that, that's one of my humorous things. I just, you know, revenge is sweet. <laughs> I love, you know, if you're going to be an idiot on a plane, I'm going to be the smart guy that takes advantage of the idiot, okay? 
I know how you work. Yes, I do. Anyways. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, they're doing the evacuation plan procedures. And I just look over to the rude guy. I go, yeah, I t how fast can you run? The guy go, And the guy would tell me, I go, oh, good. I, I run faster than you. He goes, why? Because I'm going to be off the plane before you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you, your rude ass is gonna die in a fire in, in, in a fire crash I'm gonna be on the outside looking and go man that guy he just couldn't run fast enough man just couldn't do it couldn't do it too busy being a jerk too busy too busy being an idiot and then um what's that other what's that other person we meet on the meet on the plane that we just love to death. Oh, the guy, like me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the guy's smarter. Anyways, um, I never understood one thing. On a plane, a little kid can go up to the flight attendant and tell her she he's got to go to the bathroom and he needs to go to that one over there through business class. Well, we know the curtain comes down. Nobody's allowed in business class. Little kid can. He goes right over there and uses that bathroom. Comes right back. You're like, well, sure shit. And I'm going to do it. And then I go up to the curtain. I pull the curtain back. And when you know it, there's a flight attendant going there. Sir, you, you, you can't come in this area. I go, well, I got to go to the bathroom, man. Real bad. I'm, I'm, I'm about to lose it here. She goes, well, see the back of the plane? I'm like... If I make it, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm diabetic, man. I'm taking that metformin, and I don't know if I can hold it to the back of the plane and then wait in line. And uh, she, <laughs> um, I forgot what she said. Oh, yeah. I, I, they let me go all the way to the back where there's a flight attendant bathroom and let me use that. And the sure shitting. She went back through the check-in to make sure that I didn't foul it all up. Well, I'll tell you what, that was the only bathroom with the most paper in it, man. I was like, hell, that one don't have no paper. That one's almost out of paper. That one's got five rolls, man. <laughs> now, they got like these tissue things you pull out. Isn't that just lovely? It's just fancy. You just pull the tissue out of there like, it's a, like you're going to blow your nose. Anyways. What I hate is when you drop your ring in the in the toilet and you flush and don't realize and you go reach into the grid and you come out with that blue all over your hand. That just sucks, don't it? Anyways, well, folks, this is part three and I'm done. I'm done yapping at you. And uh, I just thought of that, that my, my experiences, you know, the funnies I, I've seen on the flights. Um, yeah, part three and take care. Be yourself, be cool, be classy. Above all, stay faithful. I love you all, man. I'm Roger. I'm out.